All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're taking a look at the music portion of ProBot. I've taken a look at some of the other uh, components of ProBot, like its various moderation tools, its, its autoresponder features, its welcomers, its leveling system, all of that good stuff. Uh, it's a multifaceted bot that does a whole lot of stuff. But today, we're going to go to the dashboard. We're going to log in to the Chupacabra's Lair server. And we're going to take a look at the music feature. So ProBot, like a lot of multi-purpose bots, has the ability to do some basic music playing. It's pretty good quality. And all you have to do is log in and turn the feature on. By literally just toggling it on at the top of the screen, although it can be a little weird. And then down here, you got a list of all the different commands, which are just play search for a song, stop playing songs, pause the music, repeat a song, whatever. And then if you don't want somebody to use some of these features, you can just disable them with these toggles on the side. It's kind of nice. Um, so we're going to jump in. It's dash dash whatever, because you can set up your own prefix for this bot. And then at the top, I set my DJ role to be the DJ role. I like to keep things simple. What can I say? So, to get this to work, I've set up uh, a nice little private commands channel on my server, and we're going to search for some NCS music. So the first thing that's happening is the bot jumped into the little recording layer with me, and then it gave me some results that I can click on these little emojis in order to play. And so I think we're going to play number two, the top 50 most popular songs by NCS. But yeah, like... So now the bot starts playing the music. It's pretty good quality audio from the way that it sounds in my headset. And yeah, I mean, it, it was snappy. It popped right in and started playing some music. And then we can, of course, look over here. You can add some more stuff to the queue. So let's just do dash dash play Despacito and it'll just find Despacito and add it to the queue. And then we'll play the hamster dance. Now we can search the queue and it'll tell us what is currently in the queue. And if we wanted to, we could skip to one of these songs. What else have we got in here? We can change the volume by default. We can pause it, start it again. Actually, yeah, how does pausing work? Let's find out. Pause. And then if we hit pause again, does that unpause it? It's already paused. We have to plus hit play. And that will resume the music. And then we can hit stop in order to stop the bot. It doesn't have quite as many of the music playing features as I'm sure a lot of people are typically used to. Like being able to add special effects, being able to search on multiple different platforms for music. But it's worth remembering that this bot does things like it's got utility commands, it's got moderation commands, it's got an automatic moderation tool, it can welcome people to the server, it can auto-respond with uh, helpful messages depending on questions people ask, it's got a built-in leveling system. This is actually something that I like a lot, it keeps a detailed log of all the behaviors going on on your server, which I keep track of just to make sure that something isn't breaking or that somebody's not doing something sketchy in the background. You can change colors of certain things. You can automatically assign roles. You can create reaction roles, which I have created so that people can assign themselves a mythological creature of their choice. And then of course, down here at the bottom, they let you play music if you turn on this feature. And I also just like the fact that you can set up a DJ role because that means that you can set up somebody who's a moderator just in charge of music if it becomes a popular feature, but you don't necessarily have to make them a server moderator. And so, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, you can change the prefix. You can embed messages. It's good stuff. I like this particular tool a lot, especially because the auto-moderation features don't require you to pay for premium. I think the premium... How do you get premium? I'm not even sure. Let's go to dashboard. 
Get premium. What does premium get you? You can have a prime server and premium bots at a 50% discount. I'm just not really sure what premium gets you these days. I'm not sure if I ever did. Um, I think, so it, part of this thing is it's got like a daily login game where you can get points and you can spend them on like profile backgrounds and profile badges and ID backgrounds that are specific to this bot. And I suppose if you pay for premium, you get some credits automatically and you unlock some of these as a part of that. Maybe you get a bonus to the XP you gain in this little mini game of theirs. But for the most part, what I care about is less about this game and more just all of the different moderation tools that come along with this bot. I feel like if I was going to get a bot that had games, I'd maybe get one that's specifically built around a game and then everything else is just a bonus. So that has been a look at the music features of ProBot and kind of another little looky-loo at all of the other things that this bot can do for you, um, especially the auto-moderation where it'll automatically delete things if you spam, use bad words, duplicated text, links, Discord invites, repeated messages, spam caps, all this stuff you can prevent people from doing. It's rather nice. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. I will put a link in the video description so you can check this bot out for yourself. The music feature is free. 90% of the features in this bot are free. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.